welcome to PositiveMindset.tv, where each week we delve into the mindsets and see how they are creating our experiences. From our finances, our careers, our relationships, our health, our children. Hi, my name is Lisa Myers and I am so excited to have you here with us today. Today is a special day. Today we are going to be talking about 2014 and what's going to happen. I'm so excited to have as a guest Debbie McFarland Clayton. So please join us on Google Hangouts as we talk about 2014 and what's going to happen this year. So today we are talking with Debbie McFarland Clayton. I've known Debbie for about seven years. She is incredible. She's an incredible psychic and I'm so excited to have her with us today. And she's going to give us 2014 predictions. So Debbie, first of all, let's recap on what's going on with 2013. 2013, I believe, was about change and what's happening and really looking at and saying, who do I want to be and how do I want to be here? Um, changing every aspect, um, blowing up worlds <laughs> and so that we can start building and re-looking and have that firm foundation for 2014. Um, 2013 was a really about looking at and saying, what do I want? Mm -hmm. And realizing that that isn't always the case of what we want and how we want to go about things. And again, change in the aspect that your entire life changed. You, I, you're a perfect example of that. Absolutely. The, like we shared, you know, this year, everything changed in my life. My children moved to the East Coast, my mom passed away, my business focus changed in a lot of aspects of everything that was happening. So like that tower card in the tarot deck where everything blows up and it looks messy, but also a change in the growth. You mm -hmm. know, there's so many different things that I did for myself that was very, very uncomfortable, that really stretched. So maybe a change for growth as well, and a stretching. Absolutely, and change, in, the, in making it um, be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. we, living in that uncomfortable zone, uh, because it's time for us to move forward. And that's part of what 2014 is about. So yeah, so what is 2014 looking like for us? <laughs> I'm excited about 2014 because it's about building that foundation and then moving absolutely forward, growing, making things happen. Um, <clears throat> it's the number seven, you know, looking at harvest and and not you're not at harvest yet, but you it's that tending of and creating and um, making sure there's not weeds in your garden at that time and um, it's also. Um, the year of the horse and so it's about moving forward it's about um, making that going further than you've ever gone before so it's about riding the horse not just walking and I like so, that. And, and traveling forward well and also you know kind of that same thing is you know when the world feels like it's blown up yeah and that and exactly what you're talking about is that clearing away so clearing out the clutter, getting rid of the stuff that's no longer serving you. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And, and one of the things that I really truly see about 2014 is it's about choice and it's about truth and understanding truth, understanding where you want to stand, what you want to do, truth in your relationships, truth in um, with yourself truth about your body where are you where you want to be is it truth it's standing and saying wait this isn't right or this isn't how I want this and making those changes to make that happen but it's about really looking at yourself and getting uncomfortable and being honest with with everything in your world so what do the cards and what does the angel say about 2014 <clears throat> Again, it's about building that foundation because this year was about change. Building that foundation, <clears throat> creating um, a world where you're, you're looking at and being more honest with yourself, more honest with your relationships, more honest with that. It's about understanding who you truly are. Mm -hmm. It's about trusting your gut, using that and, and that intuition that you have. Um, 
people when I say trusting your gut, it's trusting that chakra, trusting that that the angels are there, that you are surrounded and loved, and all of those types of things. Uh, it's about again. St- I I keep getting truth, 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 and standing in that power of here we are, and that firm foundation of this is who I am, and how do I want to be, mm-hmm. and and really growing and uh, creation. This this whole coming year is about. Um, expanding and creating and knowing who you are and knowing yourself mm. knowing yourself and so what did the first six months look like okay let me pull that um i was looking at a couple of different things when i went out during our talk um pull that <clears throat> Transformation, awareness, base chakra, foundations, and partnerships and alliances. <laughs> so yeah, that foundation, building that, and and know that that you're in transformation. And again, being aware of what you want, being and standing in that truth, and staying grounded, and building that foundation, and building that partnership. Um, the deck I happen to be using is the John Holland um, Psycho Tarot deck. It's one of my favorite decks. I love it just because of the different things and has the chakras in it. Uh, with being able to look at and create um, the aspect of huh, universe. Favorite yeah. part. Anything's possible. And that's what I keep getting. Anything's possible in, in the next six months. Anything's possible. If you're willing to get uncomfortable. If you're willing to stand and say, wait, this is what I want. This is who I am. This is what I want in my relationships. This is what I want for my job. And knowing that when you do that, you're going to go, what? What have I just done? You know? And then... And then go, no, this is what I want and who I want to be. Um, and creating awareness, absolutely creating awareness. Um, being very aware that what you do impacts others. Mm-hmm. And it really does. It, it's like you may be standing here and going, oh, not, no, 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 it doesn't. But no, it's like there's you, everyone is a ripple in the pond. And everyone, everyone's a stone, and it does impact what we do. Impacts so many people that we don't even realize it. So when I look at 2014, building that firm foundation, really looking at and saying, "Wow, here's who I'm. Who, here's who I need to be. Being very aware that that causes ripples, mm-hmm. and can and and." When, when you change, people aren't always comfortable with that. And, and so you have maybe, people have lost friendships or people have that whole dynamic of change. Example, your kids, it's like, wait, I have to talk to them on the phone. I don't get to see them. <laughs> so yeah. that, I mean, that's change. And so and it's, it changes the dynamics of the relationship. Instead of being able to t- talk to your daughter and say, hey, and grab her hand, no, listen to me. You have to do it telephonically now. It's not as easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as easy. So, and, and the same, in, in, in our, and definitely in my life, it's like, how do I understand that my relationships have changed and knowing how to make that grow and, and make things happen? Um, being aware. Again, it's about building that foundation of, so that you can launch into whatever you want to do. When we were doing your reading, that was what it talked about. That mm. was so much, you know. It you're gonna, it's take off, make things happen. However, <laughs> there's that oh whoa that adjustment of hold your breath for a moment. So. So absolutely take off. Debbie did my cards a couple of weeks ago, and truly, it was all major arcana cards, which major arcana in tarot is major things happening. And I think that out of the 12, I think there was almost 
maybe nine or ten of them were major arcana so major major movement but they were all great cards they were all powerful they were all abundant cards and so I think that if you've been really struggling last year whether it was financially relationships you know emotionally mentally even spiritually I think that this year it's gonna feel a little bit lighter but I think that things are gonna feel like it's moving real fast yeah, and again, it's the year of the horse. So moving where you've never gone before. And so, and being able to go further than you've ever gone before. And, and making that happen. And it's about movement. This whole next year is about movement. And um, definitely, it's like, if you equate it to a garden, it's like August. Mm. It's not it's not quite September where you get to bring it all in. But you're getting those peaches and you're getting those strawberries and, and some of those things that are just starting to it's like you're starting to really see that abundance of what's coming. Yeah. And it, and again it's about you and how fast you wanna move. And and creating that truth, creating that awareness. Um the awareness card keeps showing up. This is the awareness card. It keeps showing up. Um, the sacral chakra keeps showing up. And that's, you know, again, about movement. And, and again, it's just go and be, and be uncomfortable in the, com and be comfortable in the uncomfortable zone. Yeah. That's what this is showing up. So what I'm showing then is to get clear out the mess yeah and so that you have room to move instead of you know being in all of the all of the mess there's no place for growth so it's kind of the same thing is if I go in with the belief of I know I already know everything mm -hmm. there's no place to learn because I already know it all right yeah so empty your cup empty your cup and go so that more things can come in. Again, I'll go back to that garden. If you have weeds, you can't grow. Mm -hmm. You have to pull the weeds so that they can make that happen, so that things can grow and, and um, not get choked up, not get stifled. So create it, clean it out, make that happen. Empty your cup and go, oh, what's possible? That universe card comes up, what's possible? and making that happen and showing that whatever I want to create is possible. I just have to be able to have it emptied out so that I can create. Well, and we talked also, which is great, you know, I mean that emptying and that, is that everybody is psychic. And oh. so if somebody wants to start reading cards, even for themselves, mm -hmm. how do they go about that? Well, uh, hopefully your first deck will be a gift. Um, and that usually helps. But if it's not, go buy yourself a deck of oracle cards and, and, um, and absolutely help and start just turning cards over. Uh, do a three-day or a, a three-card reading, which is yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Looking at and creating um, awareness and creating just you everyone hasn't you have your energy your, the cards don't lie because it's your energy it's not your brain it's your energy and your brain will can, can lie to you every day but <laughs> your body won't lie your heart won't lie so um, my favorite my favorite deck to start people on is um, it's called the answer the answer is simple and it's really truly um, a simple oracle deck that um, just talks about simple things to keep ego out of the way an example is the card that says um, create it's called create and it's just a simple deck and it, I, I pull a card every morning about how do I keep my ego out of the way and to be able to have a really good productive day where I know that I've made a difference for people and so today my card was celebrate you mm. and, and it's just about who celebrating me in, in, in the aspect of that I take time to recognize that 
I bring something to the plate and that I that I'm um, I that I can give and that I'm amazing and that is that I'm me and that I don't listen in my head to that chatter of well that was a stupid move no it's about <laughs> okay not one of your better moves but you know what you learned <laughs> so about celebrating me and celebrating who I am and um, and honoring my gifts and honoring who and what I do so and Thank so you. grab a grab an oracle deck um, I have uh, Wayne Dyer's um, life on purpose deck that I listen to and it, it's just about really looking at it and just saying okay what do I need how can I focus today my energy and it's a good way or um, so one of the things I know that you do is is that you um, pull a card every day just to say how do I stay centered mm -hmm. and, yeah. well and I love you know the thing is, is that we are all psychic we're all psychic Absolutely. And that once you start trusting yourself and trusting those inner voice, you know, that inner voice, that inner knowing, then it gets stronger. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I love about it. So where can people find you? Because, you know, just like doing this online, they, you can do card readings online. You can do it over the phone. You can do it in person. And Debbie's here in the Salt Lake Valley in Utah. So where... Uh, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, call my phone number. Um, find me on Facebook. Uh, th those are a couple of ways. Again, it's Debbie McFarland Clayton. My phone number is 801-647-3527. Just call me. And um, that's the easiest way to be in touch with me. Also, um, find me on Facebook. It's Debbie McFarland Clayton. Perfect. Thank you for being with us. I'm excited to see how 2014 unravels with all of us. But one thing I get, I, I guess if I was to take one word for 2014 for myself, it's movement. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, create and move. Yeah, both of those. Definitely. Thanks, Thank Lisa. Thank you for being with us. So again, Find Debbie on, at her phone on Facebook. We'll have those listed. And just have fun with 2014. And know that you are creating your experiences by the way you're thinking, what you're saying, what you're doing. So create a positive outcome. Create a positive experience for both the finishing up of 2013 and the beginning of 2014 and throughout 2014. Have a wonderful end of the year and the beginning of a new year. Namaste.